took 10 years out of racing before he came back to Trans Am. Pretty impressive, man, what he's done. Ben Thwaites was the XGT champion from last year, and uh, he's now just taken to TA like a duck to water. Here we go. Green flag will wave, and we'll be away. There it is. And we're off racing again. Everybody, we're at Coda. It's the final race of the Trans Am season for us. And we've done a little changes here at uh, Showtime Motorsports. This weekend, we're running Cameron Lawrence in our TA2 car. We want to show that car's capabilities, and Cameron's a great driver. Uh, he's won two TA2 championships and is leading in overall wins in that class. Uh, so he's a pretty good shoe, and he knows what he's doing. He's also helping me uh, get faster in our TA car, and I'm really happy with how we're doing there. We, uh, we had our, our initial test session in the morning this morning, and you know, the car was pretty good. Cameron went out, was at the top of the charts uh, for most of his session, so you know what? Uh, we're looking pretty good this weekend, so let's keep on trucking. Uh, the whole goal is, is to finish strong. We're fourth in points in TA. Uh, we want to maintain that. We cannot catch third, I don't think, anyway, uh, unless there's a miracle, but you never know. Enter temps and pressures. Power steering in the. Uh, oh, those we I can't even steer this thing. And all the tight stuff, turn one. Nothing but trouble with these pulleys coming off the shaft. I honestly think there's times where that pulley slips on the shaft. I have an old style pulley. Putting an old style pulley on a new pump, that's what's going on with the car. Perfect. And I want to see what that does. Yeah, perfect. So I, I just, and if there's any slippage at all, if this thing is, if the internal part of this is trying to provide pressure and this starts to slip out here, that doesn't do anything. The next thing you know, you're struggling for power sharing. Yeah. One of the things that you know I want to talk about here is uh, also this is kind of a preview for next year. We've got a second TA car um, that will be an exact copy of what we're racing. Um, it's going to be a Camaro bodied car. Um, it's an Abe chassis with uh, ECR engines, Emco transmission, sequential gearbox. So it'll be identical to what I'm racing now. So it's a front running top line car. And you know, we, we want, we're looking for a teammate to drive that car. Uh, we're also looking for a driver to drive the TA2 car. And who knows, uh, who, maybe we would just plug in Cameron Lawrence in that car and run it all season next year. You never know. So this morning, we have the same set of tires, so now we're going to fill the car up with gas like we were if we are going to start the whole race. Now we're simulating, okay, how is the car going to handle when they throw the green flags for the first time and start the race? It's going to push, what's it going to do? So then we can anticipate that, adjust the car for that, and also I'm practicing getting a good start and, and running hard 
in those first few laps so that we can stay with the pack and that type of thing. So there's always a strategy to what we do. I was just kind of cruising to the S's. They couldn't drop me. I was just going half speed. And I still got a push in the carousel. I'm full stiff. But it, it's, it's starting to come to me as we burn the gas off. Our technique through there, and it seemed to help a lot. I'm going to take that line all day, you know, today, today and tomorrow. One of the things that we like to accomplish uh, when we shoot these videos, we really want to give you, the viewer, the kind of the backstage pass, the behind the curtain look. You get to go into the green room, you know, of, of the of what's happening. Okay. That other sleeve, you got to make sure that yeah moves it'll, over. It'll spin in. Yeah. With the, uh... Okay. Today we have official practice, and your practice time determines your position on where you qualify. And we qualify at the end of the day for where you're going to start the race. Hey man, qualifying's over, Saturday's over, and Cameron here is P4, right on, yes. I'm P5, so we're looking at daylight, man. It's not too far to get daylight for our races tomorrow, so excellent day, man. Way yep. to go. God, I'm so stoked. You know, it's the first time that we've had Cameron in the, our TA2 car. First time, it's kind of a team effort here, and you know, it's been a long, long road to get this car up to speed but camera really sorted it out and just talk about what you did what we what did we throw at this car to make it go three seconds faster yeah no we threw a lot at the car um i mean all the guys gary and the guys did a ton of work going and a big thanks to my coke too we kind of threw a hill mary there at the end actually because we're much farther off than we wanted to be in practice even with a little uh, 360 thrown in there for some style points but <laughs> 
Um, you know, end of the day, this is all that matters. B4 is a great starting spot for us, first time in the car. We're all kind of learning it, getting the kinks figured out. Um, you know, power steering issues yesterday, so for both cars. Yeah. So now we really got them both pointing the right direction. So. Yeah, you know, one of the, th the good thing about running a Coke car is we're not left out here all on our own to try and figure it out. We got the support from Mike Cope, who builds the cars. He knows these cars inside and out. So bounce ideas off of everybody and come up with a solution and bang, there we are, we're on the second row. So, yep. you know, our car um, was good. I had a couple of cars spinning and kind of messing with us out in qualifying that kind of, you know, we lost a couple laps there. And when it's a 12 minute session, man, you only get like four shots at it. So, uh, but I was, I was P4 all the way up to the last lap. But so, hey, it's a long race. We'll just have to out race it. I'm dead in the water. It won't start. Okay. You got steering? It'll steer. You got brakes? Yeah. Okay. okay. End of the day here at Coda. You can hear some cars going around. That's because we had a little problems. But first, let's talk about Cameron's race today. He did awesome. Tell me what happened. Yeah, we had a great race. Same, we had a great start. Both of us had good starts today, so moved our way up to third for a little bit. You know, we had some fast cars behind us battling for some championship positions, so fell to fourth. And then more guys getting a little pushy, trying to, you know, get those last few points for the year, so. Happened awesome. with the top five, yeah. The guys did a lot of work, a lot of work. All of our team and Mike Cope, um, everybody really helped me out a lot this weekend, just getting us on track and where we need to be. So I think with the new car, you know, new team for yeah. me this weekend, working with everybody, I think it's a super solid result uh, in a 50 car field, you know, to be in the top five. That's, uh, yeah, that's saying amazing. a lot. So. so my race um, ended early today, uh, got a great start. Qualified fifth, got a great start, was running fourth. 
Um, had a battle with Oscar Turan. He, he had qualified fourth. He wanted to spot back, back really bad. And so we were, we were going back and forth. I, he passed me. I repassed him down the straight, drafted by him, and outbroke him. And, and um, then he retook uh, you know, the, his place back from me. So it was great battling back and forth, especially with cars that are this big and this fast. It's just wow, you know, everything that you feel, it's just a blast. And, uh, you know, as it turned out, I was just kind of holding steady. I had um, some, some other cars coming up from behind, catch me a little bit, but I was just kind of waiting for the fuel to burn off and the car to come to me. That's kind of what this car does. And in the mid race to the end, the car really gets good. And unfortunately, we didn't make it that far. We had some ground wires break on in the in the wiring system that killed the engine, made me spin, had no power on the dash, wouldn't restart, and our day is done. So, you know, we were, we were running fifth when that happened, but hey, that's racing. Um, I think we finished fourth in points for the season. Overall, I mean, you know, I can't, I can't complain. It's been a great year. We started off not even knowing if we were gonna run TA all year, and here we've done it, and we finished fourth in points our first year doing it against some really tough competition. So, super happy, super happy with how Coda went. Ah, finished wasn't so, so good, as my dad would say, racing sucks.